Day 22. We got medical supplies! <laughs> and I think an extra can of soup? Maybe? Nah, so we had those weird people over and they were more than kind. They gave us a first aid kit. Oh yeah, we spent a lovely afternoon together dancing and singing, then they left. That's gotta be a good morale booster. Everyone has to drink something, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Timmy always seems okay. And the ladies need water. I give it to Timmy right away. I'm sorry, Timmy. We're getting a little low on water. Two and a half, and we got tons of soup. Wouldn't that hydrate you as well? We're trying to pet the little devil. We found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. Could a previous owner still be around and worry? Chances are slim, but maybe we could pay them a visit? Or whatever's left of them. I want to say nay. But sure. Maybe returning the cat would be a good idea? Ted's back! Hey, Ted! Brought tons of food. And a bit more water, I think. The cat's gone now. Before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying they've been looking for him for a while. Supposedly, Chicago belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and missed the little guy dearly. We shrugged and went back to our shelter. The cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get too attached to the last few days. Oh, I'd be super upset. Ted safely returned from his voyage to the surface. A little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Our expedition reached a church, which was still standing. Most of it was an intact, and some people decided to turn it into a shelter. As soon as, as we found out, it was more than that. We weren't sure what religion they followed, but they were very eager to convince us that tomatoes are the source of all evil, and eggplants are the only hope for salvation. I can't get behind that. I, I just can't. I don't know about you guys watching, but eggplants to me are disgusting. Nay. Those nice people gave us some canned soup. They say they don't like the taste of it. Now they're certain they're nut jobs. Now that we're certain they're nut jobs. They gave us the evil tomato soup. Coles decided they won't be needing any holy water. We did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full water bottles. Plus two water. The scout handbook was really useful. Too bad we lost it during the expedition. Oh no. Mary Jane isn't worried. No news is good. Nothing going on with Timmy. Ted uh, is hungry and tired. So Ted needs some food. I'd say you deserve it. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. The trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. Uh, Mary Jane is feeling excellent. You know what, Mary Jane? You got it. Why can't I? What? Another broadcast from the military. They said they needed to locate the general area we're in, and they want us to leave specific markings close by. They said markings should be cards. Oh, why not, like, checkerboards? Perhaps we're doing it at the time is now. I don't have cards. How about checkerboard? Cut the checkerboard up into like cards. Dang it. That sucks. Damn it, we missed our chance in the military to know where we are. There's a good bet they'll get back to us again, but when will that be? Mary Jane seems fine. Timmy's hungry and prefers apple juice. So Timmy is hungry and thirsty. Dolores is hungry. Ted is hungry. So everybody but Mary Jane. Uh, I think that's how it was, right? Ted's just hungry. Timmy is hungry and thirsty. All right. God, dingleberries. You know what? Um, bring, bring the spray. Oh, bring the lock pad. No. Bring the spray. Maybe. I don't know. Bring the checkerboard! What could go wrong? At this point, who knows? Dolores felt X. We gave you back! To our surprise, we found Sharkov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how. Is it our good care to appreciate our kind hearts? Optimism? Or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. I think Sharkov is an agent can't double agent. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back. 
Timmy's on his best behavior. How long will that last? Dolores can't remain thirsty, so... Ted needs both things. Dolores needs water. Did Timmy need anything? No. Okay. A knock on the... Oh, a knock on the door is not always something to take lightly these days. So the man came to our doorstep today offering us a highly profitable game of cards. We weren't convinced. Is a bet of two cans of soup in a card game a reasonable choice in our situation? Yes! I have extra cans! What the heck was that? Gambling is a terrible habit! What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies, we're not getting them like that. Oh, I guess we play the cards we get to, okay. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away, good riddance. Uh, despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we're getting through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be in this tiny shelter. Ted says there's no need to worry about him, he's okay. Awesome. No one gets food or anything. Spider seems to be operating on the same sunshine. They have all the same rice shelves we do. Time for some buck spray. They're everywhere. Okay, if spiders were in there, we're nuking the shelter. We don't even want spiders? No. Nope. Spray that. I'm glad I kept it. No more spiders. Nay, nay. Oh, no. We lost it, though. When it's... Hey, we gained a soup, though. When it's us or them, there shouldn't be any reservation when it comes to choosing your arsenal. We know the spiders stood no chance against well aimed bug kill and spray. So we used it. When it was over, the few remaining spiders fled. We started cleaning up and claimed an unexpected prize, a soup can we didn't notice before. It was hidden in the shadows and under a few layers of dead spiders. Nice. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores' is fatigue is pretty fatigued. Dolores is rested. So Timmy needs some water. Uh, Timmy just needs some water. That's it. I'm really hoping Dolores has something. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sharko found tiny wires sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? No one remembers it being in there. Uh, before, the cat might get angry if we take it away, the wire. So maybe it's best to leave it be. Or should we re-examine that wire? Let's examine the wire. I think the cat's trying to help us out. Hey, Dolores is back. Oh. I thought Dolores was back. We followed the wire outside and uh, found a half-burned truck with two surprised gentlemen out inside. Surrounded by an array of blinking bulbs. There's some space tech right here. Uh, were they listening? In us, were they listening in our very own shelter? Their feeble excuse about a roadside picnic didn't convince us. Even Timmy knows he can't have picnics here. And the car had no wheels. Uh, what? Nothing new to report on Timmy. Dolores will not last long without water. Ted wishes for a few drops of water. So the parents want some Atari. Hmm, the agents that were spying us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. We hear them out. Sure. Don't know how I feel. Day 29. I don't know what the hell happened. The water broke. That's not good. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of us. That doesn't tell me crap. They're on top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't the spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They sure us to contact us again with more details. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is being the best of the situation. Everything seems okay, and everybody is good. Except this creepy double agent cat. What's that sound? Oh no! Something or someone is below us. I don't have any. I need the axe. If I lose this, I'm bringing the axe next time. The fuck was that? Our food is gone. Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They're giving us creeps, even up here. 
Timmy needs food. Uh, doesn't need much, but he should drink. So Timmy needs both things. Dolores is everybody's hungry. So everybody gets food. Timmy is thirsty as well. I think it was Timmy. Double check. Yeah. Okay, both things. Okay. No. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite. So we're save so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason we should get tidy up this mess. So then co green cockroach is a pretty good motivator. Oh no! Cat. Dolores is back! With a book! Yay! We underestimated the value of a cat in this environment. We thought we had a cockroach infestation on our hands, but Sharkov took care of it! Way to go, Sharkov! Was it reminded of its hunting days before the bombs dropped? Was it mesmerized by the cockroach's glow? Or does it just have an undeniable thirst for fresh cockroach blood? Vampire cat! We'll never know why, but that we're grateful that we don't have to deal with those insects any longer. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious. Our expedition went directly to visit the primary school, not for education, of course. Oh no. We were desperate for supplies, and the school was our best chance of getting them. Biology class had an aquarium. The fish had died since no one fed them, but the aquarium had water. Nice. The local scout team had its own room in the school basement. We found it filled with boxes and boxes of scout handbooks. Nice. Mary Jane is starving. Or else. Uh oh, okay. Um. Okay, so Ted needs water. Dolores, I think, needs water. No. Dolores is thirsty. Mary Jane needs. Okay. Everybody gets water, everybody gets soup. We were paid a visit today by a young man worried about his twin sister who went missing in a bandit camp not so long ago. While acting as a spy and trying to get her hands on the planes of a new bandit for Fortress, he seems to trust us fully and is very friendly, but obviously concerned. He asked that we come to his aid in an hour of need and really good things might happen to us if we manage to succeed. You know what? Timmy! Go for it, buddy! Ask Timmy. I don't know. Day 32. Uh-oh. Got less water now. The young man was assisted by a group of survivors, of other survivors, all armed but really friendly. We found the girl, threw her a weapon, and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. The siblings were happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father. What? It's a crazy small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised a contest again soon. We we're afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. I think I'm just getting really lucky. Timmy's on his best behavior. How long will it last? Dolores is doing quite well. Maybe she just can't find anything to complain about. Today seems to be doing alright. Even though the world has gone to sheer crap place. So I think everybody's good. Mary Jane's hungry. Alright. It seems quite awful out. It's awfully quiet. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We'll know until we go. Um. Timmy can do it. Timmy, we might send you, good buddy. Tired of being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it, or else. Might find ourselves in even more trouble. We have made it to day 33! Cat is still here. And oh my god, we have bullets! What? We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. During one of the insane episodes that are on three last night, Sharkov ran face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall out. Behind it was a cigar box with ammunition. Ammunition in the form of one bullet. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy is good. If there's anything to report, uh, there's nothing much going on with Ted. So Mary Jane is hungry. Mary Jane, you get some fuds. Um, all right, Timmy. I just take the bullets. Um, you know what, Tim Tim? I don't know if you need that, but you're gonna take that. You never know. Never know. Day 34. Who doggy? Mary Jane's getting quite hungry. We should get something to drink. Dolores has to drink something, Ted should drink something, so everybody needs something to drink. 
Pretty easy. We received another transmission from the army. They'll be. Ah! Oh, I need cards again. I'm getting super crap luck with these cards. Sharkoff, give me some. Give me some cards. Sharkov, you're not being very helpful, buddy. All right. Damn it, we missed our chance. It's impressive of Will Mary Jane's handling the switch. She looks fine. Call him for Dolores. Okay. Everybody seems to be doing fine. There are only so many things you can do in the Tiny Bunker. So why not play some games? They're not just for kids. I'd agree. We have tons of games. Well, reading the books. We have checkers. Hello? I hear a knock, 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 knock. We played truth or dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions. The most common was, are you going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that was enough games for now. Mary Jane isn't worried. Life's hard for all of us, but Dolores in a good mood. And Ted seems to be all doing all right. Nice. We don't need to eat or drink today. We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in a ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter tracking a big mutated spider. You know what? Have the one bullet. The one bullet that may help. I can't do it. My rifle's busted anyway. Okay. We agreed mostly because we're kind of curious what she's planning to do with that spider once she catches it. Uh, she doesn't want us to. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. Mary Jane is thirsty and hungry. Dolores is hungry. And Ted is thirsty. Okay, so I don't. I think. I think Ted was just hungry. Oh, Ted is hung thirsty. Okay. There's a man on our doorstep, and he wants to be our friend. Okay, I need to give up one of these. We're even exactly. Uh, that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us he will not get sick and ask for our help. If we could provide him and his group with some supplies, they would pay us by helping off the effects fight off the next raiding party. Can I give him both? Oh, I just give him one or the other. Let's give him some soup. Soup is good. Right? I hear a knock, knock, knock. Oh my gosh. Okay. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent, man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camp near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. Are you serious? No! <laughs> Feels good to have some friends in this cruel empty wasteland. A few of our supplies a small piece price to pay. Mary Jane says she's fine. Life is hard for Dolores. Ted is hungry. There you go, Ted. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and a yards of string, the agents rang in, rang in with their next top secret mission that will sure land us to the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on a successful expedition right down that what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Go, Ted! I believe in you, buddy! Oh, bully. Alright, well, it's just the ladies of the house now. We graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised that we would be back with more information. Uh, both the ladies are doing fine today. You would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments. When the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls, not much is necessary for an explosion. Happened, we started fighting like crazy. Day 40! Hell yes. I like it. All right, here we go. We're doing, we're done fighting, but for how long? Mary Jane is thirsty. Dolores is thirsty. So ladies, get some what -ha. What the hell are those sounds? They're coming from the goddamn walls. They're driving us crazy. Something crawling in the air vents. Relax. Take a deep breath. Let's maybe try something relaxing for a bit. Play some checkers. I don't think that's really relaxing. I think that's just like a salty bit of stuff, but you know. Hey! What happened to your leg, Ted? And what happened to your arm? You're all bloody, dude! Having some having some fun made us forget about what was it again? The recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey, even in the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth! 
We barely made it out of there alive, but the agents seem to be appreciative of our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. Our bucket is due for an upgrade, and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom. Maybe even a hot tub. There isn't anything new bothering Jane. Uh, Ted is rumbling. Oh, we could, we could... Okay, so Ted is hungry, and Ted's hurt. Okay, sweet. Dolores is confident. Okay. The twin siblings have paid us a visit, asking if, uh, asking if we have a map of our town to shelter. The group is becoming bigger every day. They're slowly running out of space in their tents, so they're traveling through the city looking for a good spot to make a camp. We sadly don't. Which kind of sucks. Day 42, the meaning of life. Uh-oh. That's not good, Sharkov. You sound upset. Unfortunately, we cannot be any help to them. The siblings understood our situation. Promise to come back from time to time. Mary Jane isn't worried. If there's anything to report on Dolores, and Ted is hungry. Ted, we don't have a lot of food, buddy. All right. Dolores was confident. Uh, you know what, Dolores? Make some use out of this Boy Scout book. I believe in you, girl. All right, well. I think Timmy is gone forever. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Can we spare some water? Hungry and water. Ted, okay, so they both need water and Mary Jane's hungry. We don't have a lot of food left. Oh dear, we just remember we planned on taking a trip to South in two months. If we're still there, we could, we we're going, right? We're pretty sure they won't, they don't bomb warm places. No. Nah. Morse code. Hello. Day 44. Our, recollection, our, our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Ted seems to be doing alright. Okay. Let's skip today. Damn it! I don't have cards for the army! What the heck is that? Oh my god, this is so bad. Damn it, Mr. Chance! Okay. Well, uh, Mary Jane's doing good. Ted is doing good. Ted and Mary Jane, you guys are freaking amazing. Oh, this ain't good. We we're pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday two weeks ago, but it turns out it's today. Should we get her something? Uh, birthdays are nice and stuff, but like, what are we, we can't just give her the medical supplies. We need that for everybody. And I hear a knocky knock at the door. door. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, search remaining of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman who's described to match Dolores. Mary Jane is too old for birthdays. That's what we think. Can something to drink for Mary Jane sounds about right. Ted wishes for some water. Okay, so let's give them both water. And uh, what are we about? What do we do? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ted is okay. So let's let's not do that. Ah, uh, clearly we're trustworthy after the last six months as the agents came back with another quest. We don't have either of that, dude. Oh no, it's going downhill. This sucks. This sucks so badly. We're not giving them anything, at least not this time. Ted is complaining. Ted is not complaining. Okay, so both Mary Jane and... Okay, they're all good. Ted is doing well. A gang of thugs started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender, give up our supplies. Lock the freaking door! Pacifist. Okay. We were able to defend our way home this time. What if they come back? We didn't think it was a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. Seems they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock's no shape. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits. Mary Jane is rested. Ted's fine. You guys have got like three days. All right, Ted. It's you. It's, it's your time, buddy. Take the radio. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do with the radio. Day 49. It's all you, Dolores. Oh, I can click. Thirsty, hungry, fatigued. That's cool. Mary Jane is quite hungry and okay. So, it, it's all you, girl. 
That's quite annoying. Click on them. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation of the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks. Retirement homes. Shouldn't be too hard. Borrow some of their supplies? Steal. Uh. Oh, God! Got shot at! Oh, my goodness! Invading these old people was a horrible idea. As soon as we opposed our hideout, we heard their horrible battle cries. Is that how you treat your grandma, young man? Dad's gone, okay. You should be ashamed. We quickly went back to the shelter. Nobody wants to talk about it. Mary Jane is quite safe. Feeling safe. All right, we have... Oh, God. The thugs are back. What goes around... Unbreakable. What do both those do? Oh God! It's hard to tell who was more surprised. That's the bandits on the other side of our door. When our mutated friends jumped out of their hiding spots. Oh hell yes! They quickly forced the raiders to retreat. Helping the uh, mutate mutant group was a good idea. Thank goodness. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't? Okay. Agents fitted. Oh my God! Agents, I have nothing for you. Give me something. Cat? Can I eat the cat? <laughs> Thirsty and fatigued. Oh my god. Perhaps we can help him another day. Alright, Mary Jane. Not much water left. You got one helping of soup. Oh no! The cat has grown in our general direction of us and our supplies. We're not sure if cats drink soup, but it's the only thing on the menu today. The cat's gonna eat me. I'm gonna get eaten by a cat. No, not today. Mary Jane's just tired. If it's hungry, you can just go outside or hunt some mutant rodents or insects. We can't allow the cat to eat a whole can of soup. Looked angry, but there's no retaliation. Not yet. Oh god, again. Oh my god, the freaking kid. The gang is back. No. Oh no. There's no telling what'll happen to us next. We're at the mercy of these thugs, and it's likely, un it's unlikely to have a happy ending. It's the end of the line for us. We survived 54 days. Damn. 54 days. Well, Timmy died. He perished. They survived water consumption. Yes, decisions. No decisions. Seven out of ten successful. Not bad. Well, that was 60 seconds. Uh, I'm probably going to be cutting this up into a couple of episodes because I've been recording for like an hour. So let me know if you guys would like to see another round or whatever of this. Or if you guys would like longer episodes. Uh, that was fun. I had fun. It was interesting. Interesting take on the whole survival fallout nuke shelter kind of a thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, slap the like on it. It helps me out a lot. Sub today, subscribe today if you haven't. And uh, I will see you guys all next time. See you guys then.